hello everyone today i'm going to show you guys how you can make a simple coin pickup or power pickup system with floating text as you can see on the video so this is our starting scene as you can see it's empty scene else it's not actually empty i have my joystick system uh, i have a video on how to make a joystick system you should follow this one that because i'm using it so you can easily follow through okay so let's get to the floating test first we are going to take a, a models for our coins so for models and particle assets i downloaded some free assets from unity asset store and kenny i will add those assets links on video description so you can easily follow through so after downloading the assets for this project you will see a kenny platform kit and go to models you have lot of models here so i use the coin model from here and i made a prefab out of it so here, here is my gold prefab uh, let me show you here so like it uh, drag it drop and let me show you how it's set up so don't worry about the script yet add a box collider here and also make sure it's, it's trigger on okay now for coins to interact with player we need to control it by a script so here's my coin manager script so uh, don't worry about this one and this one is for particle so let me explain it so as you can see i have like coin pickup is for explosion for like uh, whenever player collided with coins it gives you some kind of explosion or like poof something star sign anything you want so in my case i just instantiated a pickup object that's the particle system and its position also i am destroying particle system after two seconds uh, please uh, uh, make sure you are using object pulling for this kind of system uh, don't just de destroy it i'm using it that's because it's only for this project okay and if you don't know how to use object pulling there is a lot of videos on object pulling you just have to search it also i have a video on it so i will link the video on video description okay now this one for like explosion after that like i'm checking like if other uh, the player uh, let me show you this is our player right uh, player has a uh, character has a tag called player if you don't know how to tag uh, add tag you just go add tag then choose like test go to character and test okay in our case we are going to use player that because our codes here now i'm going to instantiate a floating text floating that the things you see on top of the screen like whenever you collide with coin object it gives you a floating test okay is that is doing nothing just you are instantiating one on the coin position now also in this case please use object pulling okay please please use object pulling okay now here i am setting the initial position then i am changing the floating text scale to 111 let me uh, i will show you why that because uh, as you can saw on the intro our uh, floating text is going from small to big that's why i'm setting the initial scale okay now our floating text let me show you i also made a prefab out of our floating text here are floating text let me check on the screen so you can see we have another object just a mesh render and text pro text okay i am updating this value so you have to control this value at runtime now this script is uh, added right so whenever i am instantiating a floating text object I'm using get component to access that script. Then 
I am setting the text value uh, except a uh, plus 5 or plus 10 on your case it can be minus anything you like now our test script has a method called set text it takes a string value this is string value let me show you what it does it goes to text dot text uh, we're just updating the text value of the floating text then we are disabling our coin object okay and this line is important this one this line handling the whole animation thing okay dynamic animation thing so let's see now the floating test script okay so first we got our text reference from here as you can see and target height is for whenever we pick let me show you uh, whenever we are picking this text how much higher it going okay uh, you can give, give like two let's see what happens uh, target height oh, oh sorry we need to change the prefab so let's say three now if we collided it you see our text is going higher now show animation right here for for animating the text object I'm using dot win dotting library uh, if you don't know uh, what is dotting library is just a training library uh, also if you don't know how to import uh, dotting in your project go uh, first you need to add the assets on your account then use package manager to import okay then you have to set it up it, it's not it's not it is just a small thing if you just follow through is a small thing okay after that first we are going to make like say our task we are getting our current text position and also our target position target position is like current position y and target height okay also as you can remember like here we are setting our skill to 0.11 right i want to go from 0.11 to actual size which is uh, vector one uh, I mean, let me show you our whenever our player coins you see is go from 0.1 to 1 okay this line is handling that code okay now this one is responsible for moving it to from its current position to its target height target position animation also i'm using set is that because it's give you a lot of options like say uh, is dot um, elastic or something in out elastics let me show you how you can use multiple animations and it will look it, it will look cool so play with uh, the is value you'll get a lot of variation of it okay i'm going to keep the previous one so whenever our text go from current height to target height our animation is complete then we are resetting our floating test scale from 1 to 0.1 again also you can see a new setter method called that point two delay this one i'm using for whenever it goes from 0.1 to 1 then it going to wait for two second then it's again going uh, from one to point one okay after completing the whole animation process i'm disabling the floating text so you can see uh, let me show you with like our floating text say floating text also like give like mm, five durations okay now we can see slowly uh, you see so now you can see every step of the animations okay now i already uh, already made another uh, coin variation is silver similar process just uh, our coin manager script we have a variable called reward value okay 
so let's say you still value one so if we collide with gold coins it will give us 10 if we silver is one okay so these are a uh, floating text system so this is for today if you guys have any question or need further assistance please leave a comment below thank you guys for watching